the abdominal aorta ends by splitting into the common iliac arteries. You have the right common iliac artery and the left common iliac artery, and the common iliac artery stops when it branches into two parts, the external iliac artery, which is the one that goes externally, and the internal iliac artery, which is the one that stays within the pelvic cavity. Now, the common iliac vein that you're seeing here is right next to the common iliac artery. When the left common iliac vein gets together with the right common iliac vein, they form the inferior vena cava. We have a blood vessel right here going towards the kidneys, and this is a vein, so these are the renal veins. And we have here an artery going towards the kidneys. Consequently, this is named renal artery. Now pay attention to this. Can you see that we have here an artery, the red one, and a vein, the blue one, and here as well? So these are named gonadal blood vessels. And we have the gonadal artery taking blood away from the abdominal aorta. And if this model is a female, this would be specifically named ovarian artery. And if we would be talking about the male model, this would be specifically named testicular artery. We have one on the left side and one on the right side. Now, if you pay attention to the veins, can you see that this gonadal vein is going into the inferior vena cava? This is the right gonadal vein delivers blood into the inferior vena cava. But the left gonadal vein, it's delivering blood to the left renal vein. So that's a very big anatomical difference that we have between the right and left sides. So if this was a female model, this would be the ovarian vein delivering blood to the left renal vein. Consequently, you know that this is the left ovarian vein. If this was a male model, this would be the left testicular vein delivering blood into the left renal vein.